What is up, you beautiful human beings? Hope you guys are doing really well. Welcome to episode five. We made it. This will be the last episode of Battlefield One. I'm excited. Let's get into it. I hope you guys are well. In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small, mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire and they were rallied around the ideas of a single, influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. Awesome. It is in plain sight. Al Ajdar, Mesopotamia, spring 1918. The Great War engulfs the globe. In the desert of the Middle East, Arab tribes rebel against their historical oppressors, the Ottoman Empire. To counter the uprising, the Ottomans deploy their most advanced technology, the empire's devastating artillery, combat aircraft, and armored vehicles. To E. Lawrence, the British officer works with a small force of highly mobile rebels. They do not confront the Ottoman forces head on, and instead they must fight another way. So I'm just taking it on muted. <laughs> Let's go. The Arabian Desert. A vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rock. Beneath these endless dunes, oil. The lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. In the desert, you rely on good planning, but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. All right. Into the hatch. A lone fighter has just one advantage I have a large it. enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. The tribesmen fought unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Endurance, individual intelligence, and courage were their primary assets. I mean, I ain't walking towards you, mate. Did she find it? Yes, she did. Found a horse. We're not gonna go horse riding. We're gonna go horse killing. I mean, I'd rather the whole... This is smart. I like this. You go, you go, you go. That was a motor. Wow. That was easy. How do you know you can motor? 
If I blew myself up, I would have been upset. That's pretty cool. Wait, where am I going? I need to go up here. Has better weapons and better Steal from your enemy. Steal from my enemy. Okay. Mom used to tell us the story of when we were in Africa that you know she they used to sleep outside and wake up to like sandy sandy beds. My time was cold. Well, you did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you, Lawrence of Arabia? <laughs> Oh, homie, I would have crapped my pants. I was rather depending on it. Elons. Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. <laughs> so who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. <laughs> Ahmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run! Oh. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free. Die. Oh, you animal! Zara. Oh. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. Think about it. Died. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your prey so it can lure it into a trap and destroy another. Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one. You can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans have named it, we had to send three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen and then sent with our false orders. Weapons deep How port, Zara port. tackled this dangerous and audacious yeah, mission was up to her. Awesome. So listen, in the cutscene, you know, he gets everyone gets murdered and he's just sitting there like, haha, and then decides to throw a fit and have an argument with the people who are trying to kill him. It's hilarious. I find the Arab culture hilarious sometimes. I can say that. I'm African. I also share a lot of... Um, well, 
I deal with a lot of Egyptians. <laughs> you know, it, it, it sounded better in my head, but I meant in a way, like, I get the culture, right? That's what I'm trying to say, right? Let me know. And they're crazy sometimes. So, binoculars are working now, which is really good. Another place I can use them. <laughs> I love how it started off so bad. Uh, Alright, let's go with the left and the mid and the right, okay? And what better way to do it than with a horse? The Bedouin treasured their horses. And in return, those animals granted their riders unparalleled speed and mobility. This guy's crazy. Just. Ooh. It just goes around and so up. Oh, I'm supposed to go down. My bad. Go capture that post, and from there we'll have a look and see. Ah, stay quiet. No, nope, we're gonna stay quiet. Yes. Please. It's a quiet girl. Huh? Do you have a sniper? You do. Is it silence? You don't. Quiet. That's a problem. Oh, what was that? Why? Why? I am not safe. I am not safe. Give me back my weapon. I died. There's a lot going on, so... Um, I think we're going to go to the sniper area. We actually spawned over here. But I died like six times already. I'm good at this game, I promise. The last time we got a tank. So this is the chicken coop. That we need to be around. We're gonna start. We might need to be silent. I think silent, doing this silently is the best way to go. Turn around. Thanks. This guy gave me the most trouble. Okay, we're gonna need to be here later anyway. We gotta go grab... Someone. Gotta go grab the commander's satchel. Okay, calm down. Rex, calm down. You're moving too fast. Huh? Hey. Alright, now that we're here. Let's take a look. I no longer can... You use my view. 
Why can't I use my binoculars? I can't use my binoculars! Oh, do I just... throw them on the ground? That's the commander. Well, we don't actually have to... I do just throw them on the ground. Oh, I get it. We don't have to do much. We just have to make sure the commander's down. Once the commander's down, we can actually not worry too much about anything else. All right, let's go down. There's a lot of enemies here. A lot of them. It's not worth to like Try and do this silently is probably the best way. Ah, uh, yes, I'll pick up some stick grenades, thank you. Run away, homie. Run away. Uh, we're okay. Just run. I was so close, I should have just left. Please be quick. Please be quick. Yay, cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. A single order wouldn't be enough. Ottoman protocol required the message to be received in before the train would acknowledge it as genuine. Oh, run! Walk, whatever. Just get out of here. I don't know which one's closer. I want to be left alone from there. Don't worry about it. Get me, don't look at Man. I don't know where the commander is. He doesn't know that I'm here. Hey, Larry, you can get me back. Can I pick up his satchel? Stop, stop doing things like that. Just get away. Where I gotta go? That way. There's a motor. Oh, me, I hope you're ready. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. I'm galloping, baby, I am.
Be quick, be quick, be quick, be quick, be quick, be quick, be quick. They're not shooting me yet. Thank you, EA. It, that's dangerous though. Zara right now is just like, dude, no, she's busy, I. Oh my god. Mm. I'm so scared, everybody. I'm sorry, this is the way I'm doing it, but okay. <laughs> Whatever works, right? Man, these horses can run. Let's get back on our horse and let's go. There's no point going anywhere. I've lost my um, binoculars. Get off the horse. All right, that's where we gotta go, I think. We gotta kill the captain. Oh God, I have one bullet left. I don't know where the captain is and I can't see him due to the fact that I don't have any binoculars. Um. That guy killed me last time. I don't have much bullets. I'm 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 in a bad situation, homie. No idea what they're saying. I think it's French. Oh my god. I don't know where this captain is. New objective. Found the captain. Okay. We're almost there. I hear a vehicle. I'm scared. Alright, uh, where do we go now? I think this is the third one. I'm hoping this is the third one. It didn't just get to me. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Why don't we kill him when he had a chance, bro? Had already been sent, my dear. Not, not the message you would have wanted. El Orans was such a good host. It almost seemed rude to escape. I made sure to note the location of Lawrence's camp, of course. Which means the train knows too. Twice you told that train everything was clear. But I told it exactly where to attack. The beast has your scent, my dear. And it's coming to slaughter you and your little band of rebels. That's creepy. First, the firestorm from the cannon. Then, up close with the troops to slaughter any survivors. Nice. 
Sorry, it's just in my blood when I hear music. You slipped away just in time. Kill Kitty was a fool to think we'd ever stay after he escaped. But Tanava won't stop hunting. No, it won't. Let me think. Train's coming a long way. So it'll have to stop to take on water. That's where we strike. Agreed. I'll deal with any sentries, then rig explosives on the track. Yes, and I'll rally our fighters. When I blow the lines, the, the train will be trapped. So when you hear the blast, you need to attack them with everything you have. It's good. But you know that there's a chance the men may not come. You may set off those explosives and find you're out there all alone. You know that. I guess I won't know either way until I set it off. You must know. The eyes, man. The eyes. So beautiful. This whole campaign. I just tell you a lot, man. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set. All vehicles. How do I destroy all vehicles? I like the fact that I have this weapon. Quiet. I'm sorry that your head's... You okay, dude? What does this do? Is this a watchtower? I don't know how to destroy all vehicles. Ow. Yep. I'll switch that out for this one. That has a silencer. And a sniper. Quiet. We'll take our time and we'll have a look and see. Now that we have a silencer. Oh, he just doesn't know. Oh, maybe he's... Oh, it's one of those. We might be able to take him out. Slowly. I'm being quiet because I'm concentrating. Oh god, no. So far, so good, eh? This has actually been really beneficial. I wonder if this was in the last batch. Because that would have been really beneficial as well. Where are you guys? Come on. Where are they kill it? Let's see you. Nice shot. I'm running low. I only got five bullets left, but I think we are golden. Alright. 
No, don't kill me. Don't, not just that. No, 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 homie. Did you see what I just did, baby? I'm sorry. Oh, man, I just killed them all. Mm. All right, so you had to see that. I just ended up doing it all again. Um, yeah, it's actually really easy. You just sit there, just shoot, the, shoot them all, shoot them all, all of them. Just kind of wish I had more ammo for it. We're gonna need the dynamite and things, so let's let's get down to business. Can one be enough? Yes, one's enough. Okay. You have ammo? No, you have mines. It's nice that they give you options, like you can just, you know. Bad slide and sniper though. Mwah, chef's kiss. Beautiful. Oh, can I pick that up? Yes, I can. Yeah, I think that's a good spot. in the village had to be dealt with. Or we could push on with our plan to destroy the train. Yeah, but I killed all of them and killed these. Voila. Once Zara secured the town, the trap could be set for the arriving train. Oh! Fall down. What's in here? Limpet charge. Still have some of this on me. Okay. I guess we're gonna wait for the train to stop and just have us go left, go left, go left, go left, go left. Hello. Ah, that does not sound good. Ow, ow. What's here? Yeah, I'll take them. To the train! Run, run, run! Run! I don't think I'm gonna make it, guys! Oh! 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 I don't have anything good for them. The good news is... Blow it up! Keep running, just keep running. There's nothing you can do. There has to be something. 
Weapons crate. Uh, let's go through here and see. There has to be something else. There's just too many, too many variables. Yep, go to those objectives. Let's go. That's a horse. Let's go. We did a good a good amount of job, but the up close and personal thing is kind of scary. Just a little bit, you know? What is in here? <gasps> yes, please! Alright, gotta go prone, gotta go here. Let's go. If we don't move, they're gonna bomb me. Come on, we're almost there. Oh, it did blow up, didn't it? Yeah, baby! Woo! <sighs> I better run away. You blew the thing up. Woo! Yeah! It was a lot easier once I found that tank and, tank, tank and master, whatever it is. It's cool. <laughs> Our eyes, man, they're beautiful. Seriously, just the game's eyes. The end of the Great War saw the Ottomans drive from Arabia. However, the empires of Britain and France re reneged on their promise of Arab independence. Awesome. No idea what that meant. If you know, let me know down below. that ladies and gentlemen it's the finale I think um so what do, that's it <laughs> what um oh sweet we're gonna look at that but um storm of steel so that is, if you ever decide to play this game, when you get into it, you're going to Storm of Steel, teach you how to play the game, what to use. Um, pretty much every time you you do something, you'll die, you go to the next guy, they die, you go to the next guy, they die, and then you start going through all of these. So that's pretty cool. Um, I highly recommend looking at this. I might leave it in the video. If there's music playing though, up, I won't. So I highly recommend you go to YouTube and check it out if it's not there. Final thoughts on the campaign for Battlefield 1. Um, short and sweet, so it's not that long. I think it's six hours on um how long to beat, and it's actually really beautiful. Like all these are little individual stories of little things that ch changed the way the war was. You know, um, yeah, yeah. And the nice thing about it is, if you did the campaign, then go to play multiplayer. Um, everything's accessible. So that sand village is accessible. Sandstorms are accessible. Uh, snipers. Uh tanks all those things are 
and it's pretty cool. Their planes, everything that you've, everything you saw me doing the campaign, you could do in multiplayer, and that's the thing, the beautiful thing about Battlefield. Um, I'm hoping that we do Battlefield V, and then Battlefield Four, but I have no idea when they're gonna do. Put, put, put if you have any ideas, put it down in the description. In the description, <laughs> put it down in the comments. You can tell I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Uh, just if you just come say hi man like i i love seeing you guys in the comments um subscribe if you like the content peace and love god bless today we fight one day all this will be over the war to end all wars will be won by one side or the other. The guns will rust, grass will grow, and there'll be nothing left of any of this. The land will heal itself, as everything does in the end. We'll be long gone by then, but maybe not forgotten. History only remembers one in a thousand of us. And the future will be filled with stories of who we were and what we did. How we lived, how we fought, and how we died. When this is all over and the war is won, they will remember us. But until that day comes, we will stand. We will look death in the eye. And we will fight. All right, easy.